time for the dinner buffet! Ah, Vegas buffets. You either love them or hate them. But no matter what you think of them, there's one thing that's true. We don't have many of them around right now. And there's a possibility they won't be back. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, my spinners and sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. We're going on two months of no Las Vegas hotels and casinos. That means no blackjack, no shows, no beers, no poolside lounges, and of course, no Las Vegas buffets. But could this change be permanent? Well, according to the Las Vegas Review Journal at least, this could be the end of buffets as we know it. Allegedly, Frank Fertitta of Station Casinos, their current CEO, made an announcement that stated Station Casino buffets wouldn't make a return with their casino, at least in the short term. His exact quote, according to the Review Journal, was this. For one, you know, we will be opening none of our buffets. Buffets generate traffic, but they're definitely lost leaders. Those will not be operating in phase one, as well as some of the other specialty restaurants. So we're going to narrow it down to basically the restaurants that were the most popular, which frankly baffles me just a touch. Historically, not only have Vegas buffets always been popular, the Las Vegas buffet has also always been a staple. The old days were free food, free rooms, and gambling. And granted, that's changed over the years. Luxury is in, and it's profitable. Buffets may not have been the center of any business strategies, but they were always in advantageous spots in the hotels. And they did some great things. Namely, driving traffic. Lines for buffets can take an hour to get through, and it offered incentives for players to upgrade their ranks. MLife Pro members, for example, get access to priority seating in the buffet line. Right now, the casinos will need to drive traffic in order to maintain some semblance of normalcy during these uncertain times. Also, what's the Vegas experience if not for the amazing innovations they've made in these old school standbys over the years? Now, if we are looking for a reason to close a buffet, it would have to be, well, cleanliness. Buffets are an amazing place to grow microorganisms. Hot lights, protein, and constant contact with shared surfaces. Mix that in with less than ideal cleaning schedules, and you have yourself a haven for germs. So I'd say it's logical for the buffets to stay shut down, as the casinos continue to develop a cleaning plan. But it doesn't have to stay that way. Catering styled or perhaps cafeteria style service could replace the traditional grab and go buffet. It likely wouldn't be the same experience, but an advantage that casinos and hotels would have is portion control. Buffets typically try subtle tricks to control how much of what you eat, mainly by making certain serving utensils larger than others. But pre wrapped plates that rotate to the front for quicker, more selective service might be the way to go kind of like the way buffets normally do desserts. Ultimately, I would like to see the buffets transform into something that fits a new, modern look at health and safety, while retaining a bit of the Vegas charm. I'd also say that Las Vegas Review Journal is being a little bit apocalyptic with their take on the demise of the Las Vegas buffet. But only time will tell. That said, Spinners and Sharks, what would you guys like to do with the buffets in the future? Would you change how they're run? Will you continue to eat at them? Or do you even like them in the first place? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear them in the comment section down below. Alright my spinners and sharks, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed today's content and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Be sure to check out the link to the Las Vegas Review Journal that I have in the description box below to get a full sense of the matter at hand. So then, until next time, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys.